This is one of the 1981 300 SDs that recently rained down on me, and I'm getting ready to pull this OM617 turbo diesel out of the car. You know, I don't think the car is worth fixing. And people say, well, anything can be fixed. Yeah, but you have to look at the whole package. You know, this one has had front end damage. It's sat for years. All the brakes are frozen up. You have rust in the undercarriage and the interior is all tattered and, and <laughs> kind of what we say roached out but it does have a good running engine. So I'm sitting here today with my trusty wrench getting on these bolts for the fan so I can pull that off. Once I get the fan off, I can pull the shroud out and then I can lift the radiator and the oil cooler. I've already drained this out. But as I was working around on this engine, I started noticing some things really strange. Now remember, this is a 1981 W126 300SD. And I've seen on this engine already four things that don't look right. And I want to see if you can spot them. You diesel experts out there, let's see if you can do this. There are four, two of which could possibly be on other 300 SDs. But there are two things on this engine that should absolutely not be on a 300 SD sedan. Now I'm going to bring the camera in close here and I'm going to kind of focus around this area and see if you can spot those four things I'm puzzled about. Sorry, I'm not going to give you any clues here, but I'm just going to pan this engine slowly. And as I pan it, you'll be able to spot all four if you look closely and you know what you're looking for. Here we go. Okay, give it your best shot. So what are those four things you think I'm talking about here? What? 